Hey everyone, happy Easter. We are here for Disney's 2024 Extravaganza. We've got our map and we've got our stickers. So let's go to our first stop, Carthay Circle Theater. Okay, so we are headed to the Carthay Circle Theater. So how exactly does this work? So what you do is you go to these different locations that's on the map and then you search and look for some eggs. And then once you find the egg, you're going to place which egg sticker goes to the location and then you redeem it for an ultimate special surprise. Wow, are they the surprises that I saw when we got the maps? Possibly, who knows? <laughs> cool, all right, let's do the Cafe Circle Theater. Oh, very. Uh, non telling. Thank you. So we asked them, where exactly do we go for the Carthay Circle Theater? They told us to go around back and look up. So I think they gave us a big hint. I think they probably told us exactly where it is. <laughs> this doesn't seem like much of a hunt, but let's do it. So we're around in the back. They say to look up. It's pretty easy to spot it. There it is. Look at that little Donald Duck. He looks so cute. Now that we found our first egg, which is Donald Duck, we're gonna go on the back where our stickers are located and we're gonna get the Donald Duck sticker, turn it around, we're gonna place it near the location where we found it. And we're gonna do that for the other items. Let's go to the next stop, which is Trolley Treats. All right, guys, we're here at Trolley Treats and this one was a little bit easier to find. Take a look. Who is it? It's Dale, and you can tell it's Dale because he has the red nose as opposed to Chip. Chip has a black nose. So we're gonna get our Dale egg and place them on here on Charlie Treats. Up next, Koanga Building. Woohoo! Excuse me. So it's seeming Good like question. we're just gonna ask so this I'm lady to where find all Koenga the places building. are because we're Am I we don't supposed know. to look on here so like a category? Shout out to this lady right here for helping. You might be able to find it that way. I know it's near Clarabelle's. So right now we're looking for Koanga Building, but they're being really mysterious about it. It's like not even on the map. She just kind of directed me to Clarabelle's ice cream. So. We'll just have to look around. She said that they even had to get security on this whole scenario because people were trying really hard to find it. I don't know what that means. Okay. Do you know where it is? I have no idea where it is. I'm keeping my eyes very peeled. Hi. I'm trying to do this egg hunt. Dang, do you know where I can find the Kuwaita building? Oh, so over the, like kind of across the way? Uh -huh on Hollywood. So word on the street, AKA by like five employees that we asked, we were led astray, not in the right direction. We were given bad intel. I think the lady was hip to us. She didn't want to get bugged anymore. And it's like, if someone asks you for a massage and you give them a bad massage, they probably won't ask you again. <laughs> so shout out to her. Her tactics are gonna work. We're not asking her again, but now where are we going? I think they told us to go in the opposite direction. Cool. <laughs> that's where we'll go. I think it's Schmoozies. Schmoozies, that's By right. Schmoozies. I yeah. think it's by the best wiener. We'll see. <laughs> so we were told to come here to Schmoozies and we would find it. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. I'm walking like this and I found it. If you're over here at Schmoozies and you're standing here right there, <laughs> it is a rabbit. Yes, the so rabbit there it is. Alice in Wonderland. So here we're going to place him on Coenga building. And where are we off to now? Next. All right, so we got the white rabbit. Up next, we're gonna go to the Disney Animation Building for our next egg. Where is that? Right across the right street? Right across the street. Where could oh, it be? I already found it. You guys, I'm You're, too good at this. As you can see, we're right in front of the animation station. And then literally, we got the egg. Burp, 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 burp. There's Daisy. And there it is. There's Daisy. So you guys know what that means. It's sticker time. <laughs> Here we go. All right, you know what that means. We're up to our next location, which is gonna be Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. Let's go get our next egg. So we just entered car land, and right away, as we look to our left. On the to uh, Mater's ride, it's right up on top of the sign. Go ahead and show them. Probably already see it. There it is. Who is that? That's Mater. Oh. They hide these eggs very, very well, huh? It's pretty much right there. <laughs> well, it blends in a little bit with the scenery, so you never know. All right, sticker, sticker time. Now we have to find the uh, Route 66 building, which hopefully is not as hard as it, the Coenga building was. <laughs> All right, so we're on Route 66. Yeah, so it has to be somewhere located around here. Are you up for the challenge? Let's do it. So we're walking away from the Maynard one, and literally within 10 seconds of us walking down this Route 66, Sandy has already found the next egg. <laughs> they were trying very hard to make it difficult for us to find. Take a look. All right. I feel like I just have sniper vision. Oh, there vision. it is. Who is it? <laughs> That's McLightning. 
It's sticker time. Sticker, sticker time. All right. Next Perfect. up, we're heading to Cocina Cucamonga Mexican Grill. Let's Do you have do any it. idea where that is? I know exactly where it is. Taking this through the cut. I definitely know where I'm going, and I know that all the shortcuts. So we've barely gotten here, and Sandy said she's already found it. I did. Some of them are a little easy, you know? Which one has been the most challenging so far? Definitely the Coenga building. That one was hard. And which one is this again? This one is the Cocina Cucamonga Mexican Grill. All right. Where is it? Just look straight ahead. Oh my gosh, it's right there. <laughs> This ain't even challenging. Stop goofing around. Go and show him, Mr. Goofy. Okay, so here, we're at the Cocina Cucamonga Grill, and it's just that easy. Do you guys see it already? The man of the hour. There's Goofy. All right, guys, you know what this means, right? Stick it, stick it time. <laughs> All right, what's next? All right, I believe you pronounce it Embarcadero Gifts. Do you know where that one is? Uh, of course, let's go. Guys, I don't even think I even need a map. I feel like I have like laser eye vision. I can just like point out which one, like where they are. Like, pew, pew, pew. Are you trying to say that you've already found the next one? Practically, yeah. I've pretty much already found all of them. This is just getting me so hyped. I'm not gonna lie. This isn't as exciting as I thought it would actually be. I feel like it's okay, but we're definitely gonna have to try some food and go on a ride during this vlog. Also, it's so exciting. <laughs> We're here. We're at the Embercadero gift shop, and we found it. I feel like this one is pretty easy for me to catch. And you're saying this is a thrill when it's this easy? I, Listen, I wish they made it a little bit more challenging. The reason why Jared's not a huge fan is because he's not a big fan of competition. You know? Whatever you say. Okay, <laughs> let's show you guys who we got here at the Embarcadero gift store. Yes. Good old Pluto. There's Pluto. <laughs> All right, guys. You know what it is. A little sticky, sticky, sticky time. <laughs> now let's go ahead and go for some knickknacks. There she is, the queen of the extravaganza. You guys, I'm so hyped for this. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I just think Jared's jealous because I'm catching it. I've got that 2020 vision. So we're here at Knickknacks. Have you already found it? I already found it and I haven't even stepped into Knickknacks, guys. That's how amazing my laser eye vision's going on. So let's go inside and see if you guys can find it. All right, here we are, play along. See if you could find where the egg is. Look up. There it is, and none other than Mickey. You guys already know what time it is. Sticky, 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 sticker time. <laughs> All right, what's next? We're actually gonna go right across the way to the Lamplight Lounge. We're gonna skip one, let's do it. So I'm not saying I'm tired of saying this, guys, but I found it while I was walking up. Take a look over here. There it is. There he is. I don't think they're trying very hard to hide these things. Which one is that? I can't see. I believe this is Thumper. All right. My favorite time of the game. A little sticky, sticky action. <laughs> that sounded gross. A little bit. Okay. Where are we going to next? We're, right. almost, we're almost done for all of you. I'm so sorry uh, to have to say that, but we're almost done. All right. So we're going to go to the Pixar Promenade. And we're already practically here, so let's keep our eyes peeled out. So we are heading to the Pixar Promenade right now, and we're looking for either Minnie or Chip. Who are you hoping we find first? I want to say Chip because I want to save Minnie for the last. All you right. know, save the best for last. Let's see if we can find Chip. <laughs> Finally, Sandy is stumped. They've all come so easy up until this one. You just said it's a struggle for me. Come on, it, do you even know who you're talking to? This one was feeling like a little bit of a struggle. No. But of I feel course, confident 100% of the time. Like the song says, you got to go all the way up. <laughs> there it is. Minnie Mouse. So it ended up being Minnie Mouse. Are you yes. bummed? You know what? I should have known because my favorite is Chip and Dale. Growing up, people said I had a little chipmunk cheeks. So Chip, you're the best for last. You guys uh. already know what time it is. It's a stick a stick a stick a time. All right, we're heading to the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. I think this is the one I'm most excited about. <laughs> Why, because then it's over? <laughs> yes. She's on the move. We're so close, I can taste it. What does it taste like? It tastes like victory. It tastes like all the amazing things in your mouth all at once and in your heart. It just... Yes. Sounds like it could be bad for your arteries. <laughs> I just can't wait to get a little prize. I'm already thinking about which one I'm going to get, you know? Which one are you thinking you want to get? Well, I don't know. I'm thinking chipmunk. 
Look, they're so cute. And they kind of resemble of a squirrel, and you love squirrels. Perfect. Okay, let's find this last one. Let's do it. It should be right around the corner. All right, we're quickly approaching, and Sandy has not said she's found it yet, so <laughs> this might be the most challenging one. I feel like they're going to be very secretive with this one. I found it. I thought this one was going to be a bust, but I just looked to the right, and then I found him. I found little Chip. Chippity doo. Where is it? Da. Oh my gosh, that can be easier. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. Well, there he is. There's our last egg, Chip. All right, guys. As some people say, yeah, here's a little sticky, sticky, sticker time. Wow. Let's see it all done. Hold that up. Look at that. I'm so proud of us for getting through that. All that hard work. I feel really accomplished. And now I can't wait to get my prize, eat some delicious food, and maybe go on a ride. Dang, look at that. Are, are we cheating because we just transferred one to the other? Or I mean, we were both involved, so it should be both of us getting it, right? See, for me, I would say yes, you are cheating. And technically, I guess I'm also cheating because I'm allowing you to do and I'm helping you. But you should be the one putting the stickers on this, not me. Oh, and I think I see a bear up ahead. Another Ooh. bear liberty, maybe? I've got myself a new bear liberty. Yeah, she walks <laughs> so fast over here, it's ridiculous. I'm walking at a pretty good pace right now, just for reference. And look, she just cuts around people. She could care less. She's a menace to society. Where is she? She's disappeared. There she is. <laughs> You're the one with the, with the long legs, hurry up. <laughs> yeah, so imagine how much faster you're walking than me if I got the long legs. Listen, I want that prize, okay? This is what it was all about, is the prize. All right, keep going, go. Do your thing, make way. Do you think they're gonna know that one of us cheated? I am pretty sure they are definitely gonna know that you cheated. Well, they asked us if we wanted to redeem it right away, so I don't even think they care. Some people say that you don't even have to do it to get the prize, but where's the sportsmanship in that, you know? Hi. It's her, it's your bottom Here you go. You I think we're gonna do a uh, mini and Mickey please. Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh, perfect, thank you. <gasps> Look, we can get these frames as like a memory. Look how Ooh. cute. Wow. So there's mini, here's Mickey. Ooh. And it's actually kind of cute, cause look, if you see the back, it has like a little imprint on there, on the corner. It's like a little Mickey imprint. Yeah. It's worth ten dollars. The whole experience is worth ten dollars. Okay, it's worth. It's priceless. That's what it is. Okay, the bonding, the venturi now. Putting the little stickers on there. This was worth it. What are we doing now? We're getting the mac and cheese. <laughs> now it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> We're back for that pulled pork mac and cheese. <laughs> Two mac and cheese. Jared made me get my own mac and cheese. <laughs> All right, so we retried the pulled pork belly and the macaroon. I'm gonna say it was better the first time. Even the uh, mac and cheese? I would say definitely the mac and cheese. It was a lot fresher the first time. However, still very good. Yeah. But we have to try some new foods for you guys tonight. Maybe more of a rapid speed though. I don't know if it's gonna be such an elaborate food tasting. Maybe we'll just do like a thumbs up and thumbs down. All right, so the egg hunt was so much fun. Did you have a blast? Yeah, the, the ending was the best part for sure. <laughs> and now we actually ended up using our rest of our past for the food and wine festival that we had. So we picked up four items. The what a combination of smells, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if we're nice to a bathroom or something, but it has a very distinct smell right here. We also have a lot of different variety of food, so maybe it's yes. a combination of that. So where did we go for this? So for this, we went to the Cockadoodle Moo kiosk and it is the cheese pizza flavored wings. Ooh, and it comes with ranch dip, which is always cool. Yeah. Let's try it out. Okay, so that was the, what is it, chicken pizza? Ch cheese pizza chicken wings? Cheese pizza wings. So we're gonna do this one very simple. Thumbs up, medium thumbs, which is like, eh, or thumbs down. I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. It was good, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was a very good chicken wing, and the ranch sauce was nice and creamy. Thumbs down, I think it was too over seasoned. Ooh, okay. On what? to the next. Okay, where did we get this next item at? So we got this at the California Craft Brew and it is a cheeseburger bowl. Ooh, what the hell is all over the top <laughs> of it though? That's gonna be a problem. So just like a cheeseburger, it has the sauteed onions, some tomatoes, and some sesame seeds on top. So I think we're just probably gonna shove those over to the side. And yes, let's do that. <laughs> Perfect. Right here. <laughs> there it is. There's the cheeseburger bow. I can't do it. 
I can't do it. I'm tasting too many things I don't like. <laughs> oh, and I ruined a fork. I have to use a new fork now. While she's finishing that, I'm actually gonna cleanse my palate with some of the thumbs down chicken, because I like it. All right, so I think I'm just a fan of any kind of bao because it's so good. I love the texture of the outside. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs down from me. I tasted everything I don't want to taste in a burger. Mayonnaise, pickle, mustard. If I taste any of those, I'm done. And immediately I got hints of all of those flavors. So that's a big thumbs down for me. <laughs> Okay, so where did we go for our next item? Please let this be good. We went to LA Style for this, and this is the pork belly mac and cheese, and it has like some corn on top Ooh, too. Ooh, it has corn. Okay, I can do corn. I can do corn. All right. All right, go ahead. You can go ahead. I really am not a fan of corn on my macaroni and cheese, but. Uh, I love corn and macaroni yeah. and cheese. You didn't like it? I'm prepared to give this a score already. But try it with the pork belly. All right, pork belly. Are you ready to score it? I think I need to clean that down with a little bit of chicken wings, which if you're intuitive, you probably know what I'm gonna score it already based off of that. But here, go ahead and take another bite to see if you like it. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I think the pork belly with the mac and cheese and the seasoning with the corn, it tastes really good together. I don't think I like the mac and cheese by itself, but the pork belly was good. I'm gonna give it an eh, because I really was not enjoying the macaroni and cheese. There was a lot of textures in there I wasn't a fan of. The spice didn't bother me at all. I think it was whatever they're seasoning it with. And there's little chunks of stuff. I'm not a little chunks of stuff type guy. However, the only reason I'm not going full thumbs down is because the pork belly was okay. So if you like zesty macaroni and cheese and pork belly, you're probably gonna really like this however for me it's one of those guys so where did we go and what are we trying for our last thing so we ended up going back to earth eats and we are getting the vegetarian parm bites yeah. Ooh. i would say this is the one i have the highest hopes for really? it doesn't look like it has anything on it that i immediately am not gonna like vegetarian and chicken in the same sentence kind of throws me off a little bit but it's good it's good i mean i don't want to give away my score yet but I think the fact that you're not eating wings right now is a, a tall tale. Good eye. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. That was good. It tasted just like a chicken nugget with some parm stuff on it and some cheese. I would say it's better than chitza. <laughs> Much better than chitza from Kentucky Fried Chicken. So thumbs up for me for our last dish. I'm gonna say thumbs up too. It's really good and it's a great option for a vegetarian meal. So thumbs up. Yes. This is better than the stroganoff. So if you're by LA Style and Earth Eats, definitely get the chicken parm vegan bites instead of the stroganoff. You'll be happy with your decision. Yes. So next up, we're gonna go and find a ride to ride on. We're gonna see what has probably the shortest wait line because <laughs> we do have to get going here soon and then we'll do a ride review. Yeah, all right, let's see what ride we go on. So as we got up out of the table and we talked about rides that we wanted to go on. We felt nauseous. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty <laughs> disgusted. This is the most bloated I felt in months, I would say. And the idea of any kind of motion, even just driving right now, <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit wheezy. But on top of that, the ride lines were like crazy long. Yes. We, gotta, we gotta get back home to these puppos, so we can't be waiting 40 minutes just to possibly throw up. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe next time we come here, the next vlog is gonna be nothing but ride reviews. What nothing, are your thoughts? Nothing but ride reviews. So make sure you leave in the comments what rides you wanna see us go on. Which ones do you think would be the most difficult to do a mid-ride review on? Challenge accepted. Because those are the ones that I wanna try. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Yes, I just remember guys, if you guys are interested in doing the egg hunt, you haven't until April 9th. Yeah, if, I mean, you pretty much got what it is in this video, but if you want to come and do it yourself after we showed you where all the eggs are. And you can, but you can also go to Disneyland and Downtown Disney. Oh, that's right, yes. that's right, very cool. Well, all right, I think that's gonna do it. All right, I hope you guys had a great time with your loved ones and we'll see you guys next time, bye. Bye.